Thank you. Let me put these aside. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. God is good. Oh, well, God. praise God. Amen. So happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastors Jose and Patricia. Welcoming you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, a church you can call home. And it's a church where you can come to, amen, yes. or walk to, or whatever. <laughs> where we honor God, love family, serve others, and we pursue excellence, yes. amen. So yeah. welcome, New Beginnings uh, Church family amen. and visitors, and all those of you that are joining us by audio and video, amen. Yeah. God's got a message for you, amen. And all you have to do is be ready to receive and be ready to Put it to work. Amen. Amen. That's what we need to do. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. God wants to bless you. Are you willing to let him bless you? Amen. Yes. If you do, then go for it. Amen. Take it. Amen. Let's make this declaration together here. Amen. Yes. Grab your Bible. Where's mine? Here yes. it is. <laughs> Grab your Bibles. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Continue. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. And you know what? There's a battle out there. But you know what? The battlefield is the mind. And the Bible tells us to renew our mind. And we're going to be talking about that. And we got scripture for it. But we need to renew our minds on a daily basis. Otherwise, you are bombarded with negative things on a daily yes. basis. Amen. And if you don't renew your mind with the Word of God, yes. or feed yourself with the Word of God, right. feed your spirit the Word of God, yes. you're defeated. Yeah. Because you're fighting a spiritual battle with physical, and it's no match. That's it. So you need to get in the Word mm -hmm. and use the Word. Amen. Yeah. So yeah. praise God. Amen. We're going to be talking about Give it all to Him. <laughs> yes. Give it all to Him. We're in a given season right now. Oh, As a matter yeah. of fact, uh, let me see what I've got here. He says, this November, December months of giving, of joy, of happiness. Yes. But guess what? Some of us are not happy. <laughs> Some of us don't have the joy. Oh, Amen. Boy. Why? Because we're looking at things in a physical way. You know, we're yeah. not looking at it in a spiritual way. Yeah. We say, wow, we're celebrating the birth of Jesus, you know, this month. Man, and I'm excited, you know. Thank yeah, you, Jesus, yeah. for all you've done for me. Yes, yes. I mean, what can I do on a daily basis is just give him thanks. Mm -hmm. Amen. We started this uh, last last month for Thanksgiving, but we could do it daily. Mm -hmm. Not just several months uh, several months of the, of the year, mm -hmm. but every day. Every it's just day. give him thanks, you know. Every yeah. single day, give him thanks and say, thank you. Yes. What can I say? If, if he loves you this much to give you all this, all yes. I can do is say, Lord, I choose you. Mm -hmm. I, re I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. And I just want to give thanks to you. That's it. Amen. When you do that, you know the enemy has got to take a hike. Yes, it does. Amen. He's got to take a hike. Especially, you start growing in the, in the Word of God. Start reading the Word mm -hmm. and putting the Word in you. So when you put it in there, it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's got to come out. When it comes out, you're thanking authority. You know, hey, I don't want to be defeated by a defeated foe. That's what the Bible says. He's a defeated foe. Satan is a defeated foe. Jesus defeated him. So don't let him put you down or defeat you. Amen. You remind him who he is. Amen. Mm -hmm. So give it all to him. And uh, we talked about last week, we're talking about old is out, the new is in. So oh, yes, open your yes, Bibles. Yes, yes, we're yes. going to get in the word right now. Go, go into 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 5 uh, excuse me 5 chapter 5 verse 17 mm -hmm. amen thank you Lord Five seventeen. are you there yes it says therefore if any man we're talking about man women child yes. everybody a man person <laughs> if any man be in Christ he is what a new, a new creature old things are passed away behold all things have become new. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm a born again child of God. Amen. And people see you the same way. But inside, I'm reborn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a new child of God. Amen. Yes. People can't see my inside. They can see my outside. And you look the same. So you're the same person. But I'm going to start acting. My actions, my words are different. Yes. My living is different. Yes. I've got a change in me. 
You know, you don't hang out with us no more. That's right, I don't. You don't say what you used to say. That's right, I don't. Man, I'm a cussing champ. You know, used to be. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise, Praise God. Anyway, um, cares, problems, burdens sometimes feel overwhelming. Don't try to uh, carry it all on your own. Here's the thing is, give it to Him. He wants us to give it to Him. Give it all to Him is about a new day, a new year, a new beginning. Mm -hmm. All the time. Not just sometimes, but at all times. Letting go and letting God. Mm -hmm. Forgiving and forgetting. This is what He does for us. He forgives and forgets. Yes. But we're still in the past and we're still holding that same thing. And we're still prisoners of our past. Mm -hmm. You've been released. So why are you still there? Right. It's time to move on. Yeah. You mean you take steps of faith now with him you know and as you grow in his word you're going to start taking steps out mm -hmm. you say wow these are steps of faith and start speaking faith filled words start shaping your world with faith filled words yeah. before i was defeated just by the things i spoke mm -hmm. not anymore because i'm going to speak faith filled words amen yeah. i watch the things you say because it's very important. The Bible says death and life are in the power of your words. The tongue. But it's the words you speak. Amen. So be careful. So put the past behind and press on. Yes. Press on. It's time, you know. I, I, I've told you before. Everybody falls. Mm. But it's your choice. Do you, want to, do you want to get up or you want to stay down? Yeah, yeah. Are you going to let the friends keep you down? The things hold you down? Mm. No. You want it, you know, get up. It's time to get up. Yeah. And press on with the things of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Closing out 2022, and soon we're going to be starting 2023. Mm -hmm. We can't bring all these things into tomorrow. We can't bring all these things and bad past things into 2023. That's it. Amen. We want to start some new things. Amen. Amen. And He's got new things for us. Yes. So we need to receive it. We need to accept that. Don't bring the past cares, problems, burdens into the new day or the new year. Seems like these cares and these problems, these burdens, these anxieties increase uh, in the months of uh, November, December. Mm. But you know, don't, because we're thinking about, well, what do I have to give? What do I have to, what joy do I have? What happiness do I have? We're thinking about things. I don't have anything to give. Amen. And uh, I think I read it to you last week and uh, just a quick uh, reminder talking about live to give I'm a child of God I want to live to give what can I give well here's some things you can give give Jesus mm -hmm. Romans 10 9 and 10 give yourself commit yourself submit yourself and uh, be available when he's calling yes. he never calls me well <laughs> you never pick up because he's always calling yeah. Amen. Amen. He's always calling, but you're not picking up. You're not answering the door. Give your heart. Give your love. Give your compassion. Give a smile. Be kind. All these things, you know, leave somebody better than when you saw them Absolutely. or when you found them, you know. Yes. Don't put them down. They've already been put down enough. Lift them up. So give a smile. Give a cheerful attitude. Give appreciation, give encouragement, give honor, give happiness, give hope, give a prayer. And this is live to give. That's what Jesus is all about. Yeah. Live to give. He's given us so much. And all we think about is, well, I don't have no finances to give. It's not about finances. It's about giving yourself and committing yourself to him. Right. Amen. That's just what it's about, you know. And the Bible says, if you give, he's going to give back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and run it over. Says, uh, will be put on your bosom. With the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. And believe me, we cannot outgive God. You know, I don't know why I'm getting all these things back. Well, if you think back, you've been giving. And when you're giving, it's going to come back not just one for one. It's going to come back pressed down pressed and shaken together. together. Running over. Running over. Praise Woo. God. Thank you, Lord. I'm not, I don't know about you, but I, I'll take that. 
Amen. Feels uh, like you don't have no things to give, no joy, no happiness. Mm. Uh, super stressed out, mm. no way out. Some people feel like giving up, quitting. Yeah. Amen. Because we're comparing ourselves to the world, we're comparing ourselves to somebody else. Yep. If you're going to compare yourself to somebody, compare yourself to him. <laughs> Amen. But he says you can do all things through Christ. Things. He says you're a winner, you're a champion, you're an overcomer. And you get in the Word and you start feeling good about yourself. Amen. And pressing and going and doing what he wants you to do. Uh -huh. Reconciling people to him. Amen. Being his mouthpiece or wherever you happen to go. Amen. Ooh, man. <laughs> Other people. Uh, feel like uh, failures, letdowns, losers. You shouldn't feel this way. You're a child of God. We should be, I've said it many times, mm -hmm. we should be the happiest people on earth. Yeah, Why? Yeah. Because we know the truth. And we know He's coming. Amen. And we know where we're going. So we should be the happiest people on earth. Amen. The, the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your He's strength. Amen. Woo. Man, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Let me let me let me read this uh, nugget to you right here. Okay. And you can open, you know what? Open your Bibles to uh, Philippians chapter 4. Mm -hmm. And you read it from your version, and I'm going to read you another version. <laughs> Philippians chapter 4. Won't keep you long. Promise. Promise. <laughs> Short chapter. <laughs> Won't keep you long, so just be open and uh, listen to what God has yeah. for you, not for yes. me. He's already given it to me, and he wants me to give it to you, so you, you receive it. Amen? It's, uh, Philippians 4, and verses 6 and 7. Are you there? Okay, well, let me read it to you. Amen? And you can read it from different translations. Amen? But listen to this. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, with by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Go to Him. Mm -hmm. You know, we go and try to vent with other people that cannot help you. Mm. As a matter of fact, they tell you they got more problems than you. Yeah. But you go to God, make it known to God. And verse 7 says, In the peace of God, yes. He's the Prince of Peace. He yes. can give you peace. Amen. Which passes all understanding shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, let me read you this nugget here, okay? And sometimes we get so familiar with the scripture and we let the power of it slip away oh. from our lives. It becomes words and thoughts mm -hmm. in our minds instead of substance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The word is eternal substance that contains power. Yes, it does. Amen. It contains power. Or you can say authority. Amen. You yeah. need daily to overcome uh, navigating life and navigating through it victoriously amen the word is layers of revelations for you and i to partake of apply and receive daily don't let the power of the word slip through your life today spend time in it let the spirit of god minister to your hearts what is needed for you yes. may the peace of god keep your heart and mind in him today as you worship the King of Kings. Amen. Lord, Amen. Lord. This is the word is there. The word is there for us. But we need yes, to take yes. it and we need to do something with it. Yes. Amen. And you can do the Bible says you can do all, all things through Christ who strengthens you. You have the word. And it's right there. But you know what? Don't let it slip. And say, Well, brother so and so and sister so and so, they know how to do this. Mm. No waste time. You know how to do yes, this. <laughs> Read it and speak it out. Amen. Was that a nugget? Man, that's a, that's, that's, that's a good nugget. Amen. And I got it. Whoever wants it can have it. <laughs> I hope you received it. Amen. Praise God. Here's another one. Let's go to 1 Peter. Man, these are good. We're using the word. 1 Peter is right before second or after. It's before. It's before, yeah. 1 Peter 5, 7 and 9 through 9. First Peter 5, 7 through 9. This is what God wants us to do, amen. This is what he says, amen. I'm going to read it from 
the King James first, then I'm going to read it to you from the easy to read version. Amen. So it says, casting all care upon him, for he careth for you. Yeah. Be sober, be vigilant, because the adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. Yes. That's what he wants to do. John 10, 10 tells us, mm -hmm. he said he comes to steal, kill, destroy. destroy. And you know, we feel this way, not only on a daily basis, but you know, well, uh, for Thanksgiving and, and for Christmas, mm -hmm. I have nothing to give. Mm -hmm. You know, he wants to steal from you. He yeah. wants to steal, kill, and destroy. destroy Amen. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have, you're going to feel like, well, mm -hmm. you know, I'm nobody. Uh, walking around uh, whom he made wow, in verse 9 says whom resist us steadfast in mm -hmm. the faith, the faith. The, in the faith knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brother in your brethren that are in the world and I'm going to read it to you from the easy to read version amen sometimes like I said you know look it up in different versions see what it says just give all your worries. I don't know if you have worries. You know, sometimes I have some. <laughs> <laughs> but it says, give all your worries, all your cares, all your anxieties to Him, mm -hmm. to God, because He cares for you. Yes. Eight says, control yourself and be careful. The devil is your enemy. Yeah. I don't know if you know yet, but uh, he is <laughs> your only oh, yeah. enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He's your only enemy. Mm -hmm. And you got to be careful with him. The enemy, excuse me, the devil is your enemy and he goes around as a roaring lion looking for someone to attack mm -hmm. and eat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is to the point. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what yeah. King James says. Amen. Refuse to allow the devil. Stand yeah. strong in your faith and not fear. God is not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power, power of power love power and of a sound mind. mind. Yes. Amen. So know these things, you know. You don't have to go there anymore. Mm -hmm. You can stand. You know that your brothers and sisters all over the world are, are having the same suffering mm -hmm. that you have. They're going through the same things. And you know what? As a body of Christ, we're in, the, in this body of Christ together. We can lift each other up. Amen. Amen. Well, there's no distance in prayer. That's it. So you can pray for people all the way around the world. That's it. Or, or next town or whatever. Mm -hmm. But still, you can pray. Yeah. And every one of us can pray. Well, I don't know how to pray. Well, you know how to talk. You know yeah. how to pray. <laughs> Use the word of God. Yeah. That's all it takes. Yeah. You know, say, Lord, I'm standing for so-and-so. Uh -huh. I'm praying for so-and-so. I'm yeah. praying for this country. I'm praying for these things happening, Lord. Yes. And you know, he's, he's, he knows. He says, if my people, mm -hmm. which are called by my name, yes. pray. Amen. So we're his people. Amen. We're his people. It means we are the body of Christ. We're the church. If we pray, he listens. Everybody don't have to pray. That's it. But if his people, believers, yes. pray, he listens. And he's going to heal. Mm -hmm. Amen. So just remember these things. I mean yeah. certain little things, but you know what? Sometimes it's the little things yeah. that nip at you, you know. Mm -hmm. Another one. <clears throat> Grab your Bibles. Let's go to the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. uh, Psalms 55. Some of you have ne probably never been to the Old Testament. Uh -oh. because some, 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 some believe the old is, you know, we don't use the Old Testament anymore. Yeah, we do. But we do. <laughs> it's the whole Bible. The whole thing. Bible. You know what the Bible stands for? Uh, basic. Basic instruction before leaving earth. Thank you. <laughs> you got me going there. <laughs> I was stuck. Unstick. <laughs> Appreciate it, brother. Pay attention. <laughs> yeah, pay attention. Well, sometimes. <laughs> uh, five, uh, 55 and verse 22 says what? It says, yes. cast, again, cast thy burdens, burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Amen. And easy to read version. I want to, in plain English here, says, give, cast your worries on the Lord. And he will care for you. Mm -hmm. He will never let those who are good be defeated. Yes. Man, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And he's always there for us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use uh, some terms here that you may not like, but uh, mm -hmm. it's just to get the point across. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> I always tell you this, you know, um, 
when you take your trash to the to the dumpster, mm. you, you you never bring it back. You leave it in the dumpster. I hope so. Amen. Mm. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so when we bring our sin and confess our sin to Him, our problem to Him, whatever, leave it there. Don't bring it back. Mm. Amen. A beautiful way of presenting Jesus as our Savior. How he cleans us and takes our garbage of sin so we can be clean to serve him and fulfill our mission. I've got something I need to confess. He already knows. You just need to confess it and get it out so you yes. can start thinking about it. Because you're wrestling with it in this, the battlefield of the mind. Mm -hmm. Get it out. Amen. Confess it. Get it out. So he's going to take this garbage of sin and cleans us so we can serve him yes. so we can serve him and fulfill our mission mm -hmm. every one of us has a call every yeah. one of us has a mission yeah. and in order for us to complete our mission amen we gotta stay clean yeah, yeah. i didn't say perfect i said clean mm -hmm. amen so confess it get it out and press on yes. amen <laughs> be careful who you listen to because some people say you messed up he can't use you anymore it's not lying can you give me scripture no mm -hmm. <laughs> just confess it and get it out mm -hmm. how we can take our garbage of sin and shame heavy bags of regrets and cast it up on the landfills of forgetfulness mm. amen and he's got landfills of forgetfulness mm. he's forgiven you he's for he's forgotten about it and we need to do the same thing mm -hmm. amen Praise God. Jesus Christ has done this for us. Taken all our old garbage, our old baggage of sin and exchange it for new beginnings, a new life in Him. Amen. And that's where second, uh, we, we read 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Easy to read version. When anyone is in Christ, he is a whole new, Preacher. has a whole new life, Amen. a whole new world. The old, the old is out. And the new is in. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Suddenly everything is new. Mm -hmm. But you know what? <laughs> the enemy has people also that he uses. Mm -hmm. And they're going to see you and they're going to tell you that you're the same. Mm -hmm. You haven't changed. Mm -hmm. So don't listen to them. Yes, I know yes. I've made a change. And you know you've made a change. Mm -hmm. So start living for him. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And start pressing on with him. And don't let people or distractions, pe uh, uh, things hold you down that's it. unless you let them yep. mm. it's time to step out and press out you know everyone is coming out but well, we need to come out and say hey i'm a child of god and i'm going to press on with this so the old friends are going to go new friends are going to come in amen just let them hallelujah <laughs> thank you lord jesus our savior who can take all our garbage on his shoulders and still stand John 3 16 of course God loved us so much he sent his only son Jesus Christ showed his agape love his unconditional love for us paid this price in full with his shed blood mm -hmm. his life amen that's how much he loved us God loved us and sacrificed his own son Jesus loved us so much he was allowed to be sacrificed he was sacrificed before he left mm -hmm. He told the Father, he says, forgive him. Yeah. Amen. So we've been adopted into God's family. So thank yeah. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Life brings circumstances that causes anxieties, worries, cares, problems, troubles, fears, and panic. End of the year, we're closing out old stuff. And start a new year. And daily, we're opening new things. New things. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Emotions can run very high at some point. And a loss of control can happen due to carrying all these extra weights mm -hmm. around with you. Let them go. Yeah. Let's go to Matthew mm -hmm. 11, chapter 11. And let's find out what it says. Yeah. Matthew chapter 11. And verses 28 and 30. Eleven, 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 one, twenty. <laughs> oh, wow. 
<laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Uh, verse uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are what? Heavy light, and I will give you rest. rest. You need rest? You go to him. Amen. He wants to give you rest. Amen. <laughs> uh, 28 says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, mm -hmm. and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me see what the uh, Amplified says. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and unburdened, and, I'll and I will cause you to rest. I will ease and relieve the re and refresh your souls. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am gentle meek and humble lowly in heart and you will find rest mm -hmm. relief and ease and refreshment and recreation and bless quiet blessed quiet for your souls mm -hmm. for my yoke is is wholesome useful good not harsh hard uh, sharp or pressing but comfortable gracious and pleasant and my burden is light and easy to be home, born. Amen. Oh man. Hallelujah. That's a whole lot. Basically, he wants to take care of you. Amen. <laughs> All we need to do is let him. Yeah. yeah. I'm yours. Amen. With him, with everything. Without him, we are nothing. Amen. Um, thank you, Lord. And here we talked about last week uh, about setting your priorities daily on a daily basis. What am I going to do? Set my priorities right. Matthew 6, 33, verses, uh, excuse me, uh, Matthew 6, 31 through 33. New King James says, set priorities right daily. Therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall I eat or what shall I drink? Mm -hmm. Or what shall we wear? Yeah. Verse 32 says, for after all these things the, gen the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Yeah. But 33 says, but seek first mm -hmm. the kingdom of God. His righteousness and all these things shall be added on to you. Yes. Basically, on a daily basis, mm -hmm. is make sure Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Amen. Make, make sure that He is on the throne, mm -hmm. on your throne of life. Yes. Amen. And that you're serving Him. And Lord, you are my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So, He is your first priority. So, who do I give thanks to? Who do I visit first? Him. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Amen. Thank you for this wake-up call. Amen. So now I am going to give you thanks and I am going to press out and do what you want me to do. And I can do all things through you. Amen. Amen. God. <laughs> How can a believer enjoy a happy and joyful life? By casting all cares on him daily so that you can uh, stay in control and not be out of control. Yeah. Amen. Once in a while, if you see yourself going the other way, it says, wait a minute. I haven't spent my time with him. I haven't put him first. I haven't made him my first priority. We have, all of us have many priorities, but is he your first priority? Yeah, that's right. And if you're seeking, if you're bypassing him, do other things mm -hmm. that are more pressing, mm -hmm. then you're putting him aside. Yes. And you're, step, you, you're taking him off the throne and putting yourself or these things on the throne. And yeah. I, I, we're not going to start that way. We're going to start with him on the throne. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You are on my throne each and every day. You're my first priority each and every day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And uh, speak to, listen to this. <laughs> speak to your problems. Speak to your cares. Speak to your mountains. Speak to your, your giants. Mm -hmm. You know, little David spoke to his giant. He did. Yeah. And you know, he, he was a little guy. And he saw this giant in front of him. Everybody was afraid of him. But little David <laughs> knew his God. Mm -hmm. He said, my God delivered me before. Yes. And he's going to deliver me again. Mm -hmm. You know what? Your God delivered you. And he's going to keep delivering you. Because yeah. you're going to keep him number one in life. Amen. You're going to keep him first priority. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And David spoke to that giant. I don't care what giants you're facing. Greater is he that's in me than he yes. that's in the world. Yeah. Greater is he that's back in me mm -hmm. than whatever giant is facing you. I don't care what kind of giant it is. Mm -hmm. 
still they have to bow yes. to Jesus. Amen. Right. They have to bow. Yeah. They have to bow to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Greater is he that is in me. We got to think this way. You talk to your mountain, don't let the mountain talk to you. That's you it. tell your mountain how big your God is. Mm -hmm. Don't talk don't talk to your God and tell him how big this mountain is. Mm -hmm. No. You talk to your mountain and let him know my God is bigger than you. Mm -hmm. And you're coming down. Amen. You're coming down. <laughs> Second Timothy 1 and 7 says this. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world. And the Bible says, I can do all things through yes. Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Amen. Greater is he that is in us. You know, when you receive Jesus, your Lord and Savior, he's with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's my heavenly father. He's with me. He goes wherever I go. He says, I won't leave you, no forsake you. I'm with you. Amen. So we need to remember these things yeah. so we don't start falling away. <laughs> also, uh, we'll get to that scripture in a few minutes. Remember, God is bigger than any mountain that I can see, can or cannot see. Mm -hmm. Whatever problem. Mountain is just a problem. Yeah. A thing that might be coming against you and your problems are different than mine. Mm -hmm. You know, but still, God is bigger than your problem and my problem. All problems, but we got to keep him first. Yes. God is bigger than any problems. God is God on the mountain, and God is God on the valley. Sometimes we go through ups and downs, but still, he's still God. Yes. I said, wait a minute, you know, when the prodigal son was up and up, you know, hey, everything's looking good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dad, I'm feeling good. Give me what's mine, and I'm taking off. Mm -hmm. And he took off. Yeah. Amen. I mean, he's gone. But guess what? When he was down, mm -hmm. he remembered. Oh yeah. <laughs> he said, "I could have it better at, at Dad's house. Mm -hmm. You know, wow. I could I could do better at my father's house. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. this is not for me." Well, you know what? Some of us is still stuck in the past. Mm -hmm. Some of us are still uh, uh, not knowing what to do. Yeah. Well, remember, God. Die for you. God chose you. Amen. Yes. And, and, and now you can go back to Father's house. Mm -hmm. uh, it's time for you to get up. You've been down too long. Some of you years. And, and, and it's time to forget about it. Yeah. And, and what anybody says. Mm -hmm. And it's time for you to get up and Amen. press on with yeah. the things of God. Yeah. Amen. So let's 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 remember this. Mm -hmm. He's God in the ups and the downs. It doesn't matter. He doesn't leave you. We the ones that walk away from him, right. just like the prodigal son. Right. But he remembered. <laughs> he says, I can go back to dad's house yep. and I can have it good. And you know what? When he went back home, father was expecting him every day. He expects us to come back. He's expecting you to come back. Somebody needs to hear this. Amen. Amen. He's expecting you to come back, but you need to decide to come back. Mm -hmm. Get up and come back. Mm -hmm. When the father saw him, he ran to him and he met him. And the prodigal son made all kinds of excuses of why, you know, you can take me back, but you can just minimize me and things you give me. And mm -hmm. father says, no. Mm -hmm. He says, put a robe on him, put a ring on him, put shoes on him, put a robe, put... All these things, and we're gonna kill their fatted calf. Mm. No, yeah, you know what? Mm -hmm. uh, he wants you to be up and up. You see yourself down, and he sees yourself up. Don't put yourself down. God yes. died for you. Amen. 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 Jesus died for you. Praise God. Mm. Don't worry about anything. Be anxious for nothing. Instead. Pray about everything. Mm -hmm. Tell God what you need and yeah. thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace. Then exceed, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your heart and yeah. minds as we live in Christ Jesus. And how, brothers and sisters, one final thing. Mm -hmm. Fix your thoughts on what is true, on what is honorable, what is right, what is pure, what is lovely and admirable. Mm -hmm. Things about think of think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise 
Amen. You know, hey, the past, don't think about it anymore. It's gone. Again, God tells us to cast all things on Him. Amen. Yes. Give it all to Him. Let it go. Give it all to Him. And that's what we, our message is about. Give it all back to Him. Mm -hmm. Don't hold on to it anymore. And you know, <laughs> people, I'll just say people, friends, families, whatever, people are going to hold it against you. And people are going to remind you about it. And it's going to get in your mind. And it's going to just keep going and going and going until you say it. Enough is enough. Mm -hmm. I am forgiven. Amen. And I'm not holding on to the past anymore. That's I'm not a prisoner of the past. It. It's paid for. It's done. Yeah. It's over. And I'm going to press on with this new yeah. coming year. I'm going to press on with this new coming day God has given me. Yeah. And I'm going to serve him to the tops. Yeah. You know, right. And be ready. Yeah. Be ready. Stay full of the word mm -hmm. so that I can stay ready mm -hmm. for when he calls. So yeah. I am going to be available. So when he calls me, I am ready. Amen. Amen. Don't exclude yeah. yourself. Include yourself. Yeah. Amen. Stay prepared. Yeah. That's what he wants us to do. Stay prepared. Don't stay uh, on the wayside. Mm -hmm. We all know this, but we won't do it. We want to take it back. We want to put ourselves down. And we let people and things put us down. Mm. You know, the Bible says to... Stir yourself up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Stir yourself up. That's what you want to do is stir yourself up with the things of God. Amen. And keep yourself up and up. Mm -hmm. You know, the only time you go down is when you start getting away from Him mm -hmm. and start not reading the Word right. and not praying and giving thanks. And all these things are just mm -hmm. deflating you. Yeah. You got to stay up. You gotta let that little fire build up again. You know, yeah. we gotta keep that fire going. We gotta yeah. get that power inside of us going yeah. and not let it go away. Stay connected to yeah. the source. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That, that uh, I, I told the church earlier. Uh, we this church. We, we we come here not to be entertained. We come here yeah. to be empowered. Empower. And we need yes. to empower ourselves on a daily basis yeah. to go and accomplish what God wants yes. us to do. Stay empowered. With his word. Amen. Woo. And when we go, he says, You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So let the word just build you up. Let the word clean you and let the word uh, be yeah. in you as you yes. step out yeah. of him. Amen. Yeah. So, did you get something? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord, to stay filled. Help us to stay up and up. Help us to uh, cast all these things on you because you care. For us, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Woo. Most of you that are watching, well, first of all, if you never accepted Him, now's the time. Yeah. You know, all you need to do is say, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've, 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 I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And start yeah. building yourself up in the Word. Yeah. Read the Word. Uh, go to a church where, where they're going to uh, teach you the word of God. You know, go where, where, where they're going to receive you and build you up. Amen. Amen. Praise God and and be changed and be there for God to use you. Amen. Make yourself available. Amen. So praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you. If you have sickness in your body, just confess it to Him. The Word of God says that by His stripes. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. Yeah. Amen. So I touch myself and say, hey, you lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Mm -hmm. I want to recover from whatever's yes. coming against me. Amen. Any malfunctions, I call them well in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Thank you. That by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Mm -hmm. So body, receive your healing now in Jesus' Amen. name. Woo. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Lord. It's time to give. Those of you watching, listening, you'd like to give your tithes and offerings. You can still do that. Check our website, nbcbigben.com, donate button. And uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And if you're sending a uh, given by the Cash App at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. Have a blessed day. Amen. Praise Amen. God.